Everybody want to say Shalom? Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give our praise unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, we call Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone teaches this truth and rule well. Salutations to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth and sincerity. On the four corners of the earth, Shalom. All right, man, just uh, another week, man, prophesying, man. It's, hey, business as usual, man. You know, the, the, the like brothers say, man, the, the, the words is jumping off the pages. You know, prophecy is, is coming to pass, man. And, you know, and we've been, you know, real heavy in the spirit. Of trying to get Jake to realize, man, who they are, and why the hell, you know, you're in a position that we that we in anyway, you know, because you got to know who you are, man, to come back to your how about Shem your how about Shah, because it, you won't know how to you won't know how to serve him, you won't know what to do to receive salvation if you don't uh, if you completely lost on who who uh, oblivious to who you are, all right? Which you you uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, are you the you the uh, the, the uh, lost tribes of Israel, man. You know the Lord, who they uh, the uh, world eagerly called Jesus Christ. He died. Uh, he died for you, man. You know, so we can repent and come back to your house by Shem Yahweh Shah. Uh, 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 me and the brother did a video yesterday, and I, I titled it uh, "Back to the Basics," and that's what we have to do because you know you can have all this knowledge and everything, but people that come up to listen or to inquire about this truth, you have to be, you have to bring it back to the basis, the sincere milk. You know what I'm saying? Can't just like uh, prophesy over people's heads. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I got a precept for y'all. Like, uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, uh, but it should come to pass if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord, thy uh, uh, with thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come up on thee and overtake thee. And that, and that show you right there that we didn't we didn't do what the Lord said because uh, you got curses from verse 16 all the way to 68, and it describes our people to a T. So our people went off, man. Uh -huh. We were supposed to be on top. If you read that chapter at the beginning, it, it says about the blessings. The blessings. But we didn't receive none of them because you see where we are today. And throughout the throughout pretty much uh, the, uh, 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 history of our people, we've been on the bottom. You know, every time the Lord uh, rescue us out of uh, 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 captivity, we'll go right back in because we our people have a perpetual uh, propensity to always go off, man. Our people can't get can't act right. Uh -huh. They'll act right for a minute, and then they'll slide right back into their to they ways, man. I finished reading this verse 16. It says, Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall, thy be, curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Now, you see, we, get, we just uh, 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 just had a couple of, like, two, three shootings of our people. We got one down in Georgia, one in uh, Indiana, and then uh, I think one in Houston. Yeah. You know? Our people steady getting gunned down. That's that curse right there in verse 16. Curse to you in the city and in the field. Uh, that place in Georgia, that was pretty much like the field. That was all off in the country. So no matter where you jakes go, you under these curses, man. And you can't escape them. All right. Now I'll finish reading. It says, uh, Curse should be the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flock of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in. Cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. Curse when, you, when, curse when your ass get born and curse when you die. It, it, I mean, everything is going to be against you from the time you born to the time you die. The script, uh, the, the, it tells you, man, we should be oppressed and crushed always, man. And what, what nation of people is more oppressed and crushed than you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? You know, we all on uh, reservations and, and, and uh, in the ghettos, everywhere we at. You know, as soon as we come out, Esau want to vaccinate our, our children. You know, uh, and the vaccinations affect you tribes more than they affect anybody because you tribes, uh, the babies, uh, you, uh, uh, you'll end up getting cancer or, or Down syndrome, something to be deformed wrong with the, with the babies. It, it affects our people more than it affects uh, the actual, uh, the everyday, you know, heathens, man. 
because the heathens, they can do what it, the Lord don't care about them heathens. They can do whatever they want. That's why they're not affected like we are. Mm -hmm. Like, do you eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster? That's why you get sick and die. That's why you get gout. That's why you get high blood pressure more than anybody. Because the Lord commanded you not to eat those animals. Those animals had their own purpose. You know, they did, their purpose was not to be eaten. There's nothing wrong with, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the swine. It's just, it's not to be eaten. It has its own purpose. Uh, and that's that's just what's wrong with our people, man. Our, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You know, that's why it's important to bring our people back to their heritage and start some, build some kind of foundation with Jake, man. Because uh, if our people don't know who they are, how can they repent? They're not even gonna understand prophecy if they don't even understand who they are, man. Right, you and, know? Then, and then you got these, uh, places of worship that our people go to they tell them that they're gentiles when they are the chosen people of israel you know and that keeps you bounded up not knowing what to do all right you'll say things like uh oh, the old testament has been done away with we on a new covenant you don't know what you you don't, you don't know what you saying you just regurgitating things that your oppressor told you gotta um, jump to verse 29 it says and thou shall grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. And you just look at our people, our people are lost, man. It's like a blind man trying to find his way through things. That's our people, man. They go from uh, Islam to Christianity to Buddhism to all kinds of stuff. It's like a, a blind man groping in noonday. That's why there are people all in these Harley houses, all in Christianity, all in, all in the churches, acting the fool. You know, our, our, our people, man, uh, all into Islam, you know, uh, uh, Arabic uh, religion. You know, our people don't even use uh, common sense, man. Yeah, and this is the only book that's speaking. The, uh, the, uh, 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 the Quran is not speaking right now. Uh, the Book of the Dead ain't speaking right now. You people that's in Kemet. Everybody refers back to this to, to the scripture, this Bible, man. So that'll let you know you're in the wrong thing. Think about it. If, uh, the only thing that's been talked about is this Bible, and it's the most uh, 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 the, the most sell book, number one sell book in, 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 the, in the world. Then it's telling you something. Nobody, I mean, the Quran does. It, it doesn't say anything. Actually, it's just a watered-down Bible. There's no prophecy. There's no prophecy in the, in the Quran. The, the Quran is the plagiarism of, of uh, the scriptures because there's no prophecy in it, but they try to keep certain of our laws. Some of our laws, they try to keep, you know, things like that, you know, like women covering up, not eating pork, things like that, man. They try to have some kind of uh, structure, but it has no uh, prophecy, man. All right, and uh, go back to what the ox said. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. And well, no one of these will fail is these prophecies that's in this book. No, no prophecy's gonna fail. Look at the, the times when everything is speaking. This, these, these pages are coming to life. All right. Don't you know that? That, you know, they, they, they completely oblivious. They're they oblivious. The they don't know open, open because back Because it up. wasn't hey. given to them. Yeah. They, it, this book is not given to them. See, we hold this book dear to our heart, man. Because we, 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 we uh, see these scriptures, man. It's, it's happening today. They think this is just some random incident that this coronavirus came. No. It was prophesied that there's going to be pestilence out here. You know? Hey, and, and finish reading this, it says, uh, uh, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. And that's what we was talking about. No, no book can match this book, man. You can't mate it up with no other book. This book stands alone by itself. It don't need no help, you know? This is the book of all the knowledge on this planet, man. Hey, because people are always trying to decode it, they trying to figure it out. But the, the Lord ain't give it to you, man. That You know, what the scriptures say? The wicked should do wicked, but none of the wicked should understand. Because these scriptures, what it wasn't for you, man. These scriptures is our book. This is our history book, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? It, it, this is a book of uh, prophecy, man. 
right. you know and the wicked just can't get it, it, it the most high pit, uh spiritual blockers on you where you can't get it man and, and two-thirds of our people can't get it either right. you know and it says uh for my mouth it have uh for my mouth it have commanded in his spirit it have gathered them so uh, the lord speaks something man it's gonna happen man you know how people talk about speaking stuff into existence right like look the Lord speaks something, man. You can you can bet your last dollar on it, man. It, it's it's gonna happen, man. You can bet the whole house on your house by Shimmy Abishai because if the Lord speaks something, it's gonna happen. If it was prophesied that we go into captivity, it happened. All right, right? It, like he spoke on pestilence, coronavirus. It was prophesied in the Bible, man. That's right. You know, and, and you people, you got, hey, everybody, these songs open stuff back up, so people think stuff going back to normal. So you think you in a good case. Yeah. But, but little do you know, it's a second round coming. Right. You know, this is not going away. Your life is not going to go back to normal like you think it is. The Lord is passing judgment on this place. Right. And Believe it or not. And Esau don't get it, man, because these people think it's just like a joke or a game. Be like, they looking for something to do. They probably walk into a bar or going to go eat right now. You know what I mean? Uh looking to get into some folly that's why esau's uh amazed riding by looking at us like damn what are they doing out here in the midst of a pandemic what are they doing even trying to teach because this is like a, a joke to esau I man esau don't take nothing seriously he, he's not a spiritual being no they feel something yeah they just they, they, now they're trying to say well damn maybe they do know what they told them so they feel it maybe maybe they are right huh. that's why you got that's why you got a lot of edomites Watching uh, uh, on these uh, state capitals, trying to uh, 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 get that get that get, get this uh, economy back started. They know something's going on. Yeah, they want to open open society back up. They protesting. Uh, uh, they know their rights are getting taken away. Right. But ain't nothing they can do about it. You know, they don't understand that they powerless. Right. This is a. Uh this is Ezekiel 3, and I start at uh, 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou, uh, thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So that's what we're coming to do. We, we're here to wake up our people, you know. We're not sent to uh, these other heathen nations, even though we got to condemn them and tell them they, uh, they punishment, all right, uh, according to the scriptures. But we're here to preach salvation that's the gospel. We're here to preach salvation to you tribes, man. And it says, uh, verse 2, So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right? Because learning, uh, coming back to, hey, man, coming out of the world, you thinking you were African-American, you calling yourself black. You calling yourself Mexican, Puerto Rican, you know, Cuban, all these, all these different names, uh, these bywords that Esau has put on our people, you know, you it, it's good to find out uh, who you are. Come back to your heritage. You know, uh, <coughs> keep the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of your ability, man. That's sweetness, knowing that you're going to uh, receive salvation, salvation that the Lord loved you, man. That's a beautiful thing. To, that's sweetness in your mouth, man, you know. And, and a lot of, you know, that's so like it. And a lot of brothers, man, when they find out, that's why when a lot of brothers find out about this truth, hey, man, we running wild. We trying to tell everybody. We, we you know, we trying to prophesy and work. Man, bro, hey, man, I'm saying like everybody, hey, you be excited when you find out about this truth because that's that sweetness in your mouth, man. All right? And, and until, uh, like the scriptures tell you, uh, the scriptures is uh, bitter and sweet, man. You know? See, that's the good part about it, knowing that your Israelite salvation is only for you. But when you got to come out of uh, the bitter is when you got to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments. You, you got to uh, <clears throat> condemn the other nations. You basically got to separate yourself from people in the world. You know, that's that's the bitter. You got to teach everything in the scriptures, man. You're being, being hated, you know, persecuted. That's part of the, the bitter that, that most Israelites don't want to uh, partake in, man. But it's, a hey, through the spirit, man, we be those men who, who uh, you know, stand with great boldness, man. All right? And, and accept that affliction with great joy, man. The two thirds of our people are just not going to get it. I'm going to read this. This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. 
And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. No matter how much we come out here and try to teach you people and, and, and prophesy to you people, man, you're just not going to get it, man. You know? Because the Lord's going to show his power. And uh, and he's going to start his, at his own sanctuary. So two-thirds of our people are going to perish and die, man. But the third shall be left therein. That's what we're trying to be. We're trying to be that one-third, that, that, that elect, that we left therein, you know? Yeah, we ain't out here for our own help, man. We out here trying to work our own salvation out, man. We out here to try to get the blood off our hands from you people, man. We out here to tell y'all who y'all are, who salvation is for, so we can get the hell up out of here. But but you you people just won't get it. Hey, and, I, okay. and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. Hey, you know why you go through that? Because you got to get purified. That's why we go through so many afflictions, especially when coming into this walk, man. You go through afflictions, man. That's why you got to be like callous to it. You got to be numb to it because you're going to go through so many things, man. But still, you got to you gotta still come out here as a prophet, man. You got to, you know, you got to come out here and, and still prophesy. Because like I said, brothers might lose it all. You might you might lose your woman. You might lose your children, and it's true. You're gonna lose your job. You might lose you're your lose, job. You're gonna lose everything. You're gonna lose your house. Yeah. You're gonna lose your car. All that all stuff, that, man. You gotta you gotta be numb to like the things of this world, man. All right. That's that's the part about coming into this truth and, and counting the cost, man. That's why the scriptures speak about counting the cost and knowing what you're getting into, man. Because this 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 uh this this uh thing ain't about turning back and going into the world man we ain't got no other choice like we gotta we gotta do this work or we're gonna be destroyed ain't no going ain't no turning back from here man you know they shall call on my name and i will hear them that's why it's important to know this to know the lord's name because if you're not gonna call him he's not gonna hear you he's not gonna hear false names man that you call him he has a name you have to do your due diligence and find out what it is you know, it's out there. You know? Huh. That's why the scriptures are going ahead. I will say, it's my people, and they shall say, the, the Lord is my power. There it is, man. That's why it's important to know the name, man. You know, you just can't call the, the Lord whatever you want to call him, and, and, and it's cool. No, just like, you, you got a name. You don't want nobody calling you something that's, that, that's not true hey mm -hmm. and there's a precept to back you up this is deuteronomy 32 and 3 it says because i will publish the name of the lord and ascribe ye greatness unto our power so that's why we come in the name you have by shim yahweh shah that's why we don't uh just call, believe on calling the name uh the, the name of the lord whatever man no that that's disrespectful that's it hey if you if look you're not gonna answer uh, if, if somebody, my name's Gabar. If somebody calling me something out outside of that, I'm not. I'm not gonna answer to them. I ain't even gonna know you talking to me, because what? That's that's what they say uh, in the world. Pissing respect on my name, you know. That's what the Lord is uh, demanding of His people, man. You know, uh, respect that name, man. You know, because that's a holy and powerful name, and it's spiritual when you when we use a spiritual vibration happen when we use that name, man. Because it's important. That's a part about, you know, when we wake our people up, man, that's the first thing we want to give you is the name. First thing people ask about, hey, what's the name of the Lord? What's the true name of the Heavenly Father, man? And when I first heard that name, I, and when I said it, I knew it was, I knew it was it. I knew it, it's a spiritual vibration that go with it. And that's how you go, <laughs> I mean, you know, if we tell you people that, because we do the research that, the letter J wasn't invented until the 1600s. That all lets you know that the Messiah's name wasn't Jesus. I mean, the light bulb should go on your head. Like, okay, let me stop saying that. A lot of people love it so. They just they just won't give it up. This is a Proverbs 30 and 4. Who had ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the winds in his fist? 
who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Now, why would that be there if, if, it, if we could call it the Lord or whatever? That it wouldn't even be no importance on emphasizing the name of the Lord. It's telling you to go find out. Yeah. It's, it's specific. You know, he has a name, and you need to know what it is. Hey, and here's a precept. Question mark. The reason why you need to know what it is, because it's Psalms 124 and 8. It says, our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. So our help is in that name. Ain't matter. Forget Proverbs 18, 18 and 10. Yeah. Our help is in that in the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's why we come. Hey, that's the most important thing because you might have some Israelites that come in in that final hour that ain't kept the law, statute, and the commandment in their whole life, but they just came in and they remember that name and they they remember to call on that name when they in trouble. They might be delivered. Yeah. But boys, these are sincere people, man. You, you ain't got to, I mean, yeah, he, uh, he he called individuals to be prophets and, and, and put this truth out there. But when he was on the cross, he told the man that was beside him, he was a thief, that you going to be, you going to be in the kingdom with me. Yeah. And he was, he was, he was all jacked up. So you can't look at it like that. People are going to be coming at the last hour. That because you've been a troop 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you still gonna get that same penny. I mean that that name is is that's why I said that name is important and crucial to this to this walk, man. You know? You can't the Lord said he's not gonna get leave his glory to another, man. You know, why why hey the name is important, brothers. Right. It's Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Right, who's the righteous? It, it, it's, it's those men who's doing the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. We running into to this truth, man. We relying on that name. Right. Something that's that's a faith booster, man. Because brothers believe that look, when the time come, man, we use that name. The Lord is gonna make a way for us, man, out of the situation that uh, that we in. It's gonna be a way out of, of us in uh, whatever situation that we we're in, man. You know, that's the importance of, of, of knowing that name and prophesying it in that name. Right. Uh, this is Acts 4, and I started at 11. It says, this is the stone which is set at night of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. There ain't no other name that you could be you get salvation from man so it would behoove you to get the name right mm. in order to call on it and get and, 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 and be safe mm. you know calling on Jesus Christ is not it you know stop listening to your oppressors man do some research for yourself man that's all we ask you be like don't believe us but search it out mm. see if what we saying is true that's all you have to do I mean, that's why the scriptures say, man, study to show thyself approved, man, because, uh, hey, man, you have to study to show yourself approved, man, through the spirit. I elders and apostles and done that groundwork for a lot of us, a lot of us babes in this truth. Hey, right. man, it's beautiful, man. Like, yo, hey, man, it's like, it's like going to a... Uh, they didn't have everything at the click of a finger and all that. They had to go to libraries and do what, and really... Do work, a diligent search. Man. Really, you have to do work to go to get this knowledge, man. That's why we give double honor to, to those to those uh, men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they laid the groundwork. It's really easy for us. All we gotta do is just go to Google and shit, and just bam, it's right there. You have to go to the library, get books with Michael Fish and all this shit, do all that. And that was a heavy job. Right. And you mean they don't deserve double honors for that? You won't gonna do it. The Lord didn't give it to you to do it. Hey, that's that's why the scriptures speak about man uh, giving double honors to the uh, elders, uh, the, uh, the elders and apostles. People man. make it seem like oh you men you man pleasing. No, that's just showing your respect for the man that laid that groundwork, man. Uh -huh. That's important. I mean, uh, yeah, we we gotta have that in in this in this walk, man. Because you, hey, you got like we said, man. Our elders and apostles that done all the groundwork, man. All we got to do is be disciples, students. You know, we we Quit got trying to uh, uh, think you can uh, 
outdo the men that taught you. Huh. I mean, that's just very disrespectful, man, and rebellious, man. You know, and those are the people that go off. You know, they thinking that they, oh, 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 I speak better than, than the apostle, so I'm greater than him, and all that old silliness, man. Moses, Moses all that shit is speaker. ridiculous, man. Just, 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 just teach the word and be humble, man. Yeah, Moses, Moses, Moses wasn't a, a great speaker, man. But he was a king in Israel. He wasn't. He wasn't. The Lord was dealing with him. You know, the Moses wasn't a, wasn't a great speaker, man. You know, that just shows you, man. Look, the Lord, man. You never know who the Lord is uh, dealing with, man. You know, some some people that the uh, the Lord uh, raised up, man, just for a certain purpose, man. You know, you can't never. Do, that's why we got to be careful, because the scriptures say, man, we entertain angels unaware, man. That's right. That's the that's the beauty about you know that bum on the street that you think ain't nothing. To, that might have been an angel. Could have been man. an angel, man. Just watching stuff. Yeah. And then now you never see him again. That was like it was an angel, man. All of a sudden, you like he disappeared and now he gone. And, and, and he reported that you treat him like dog shit. Hey, that's that's why the scriptures speak about man being at peace with all men. That's that's another important uh, thing too. Like being at peace with with men. Hey, if, if it's possible, man, be at peace with all men because we never know. That's the important thing about reincarnation, man. Brothers, don't don't know who you dealing with. You don't know who you talking to, man. That's why you treat every brother as a brother, man. Sure. That's very important in this truth, man. It's little simple things like that, man. Like, hey, you come and waking up to this truth, man. It, that's very uh, essential. That's a, that's important, necessary to do. That you treat brothers uh, like brothers, man. And that's know? why that's why the Lord wanted to always to uh, uh, be brotherly to your brother, man. He said, let brotherly love continue, man. The Lord is really big on the brotherhood, man. That's not all you got, man. And, and these times of trouble that you're gonna go through, he know he gonna put you through things that you might have to lean on the brotherhood, and that's all. That, that's it. That's all you got. That's all the brothers to, to to lean on. Hey, get that in uh, Matthew 12. Started like uh, 46, like uh, Matthew 12 and uh, 46. I'm, I'm gonna get the precept. This is uh. Psalms, well, yeah, Psalms 133 and one, it says, Behold, how good and pleasant, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell in unity, man. So it's a good thing to have a brotherhood, man. It, it's, it's nothing to, uh, to downplay, you know, uh, uh, about uh, this ministry, man. You know, brothers coming to this thing, man, you treat them as a brother because you never know when all hell break loose. That might be the same. You might be relying on the man next to you to, to save your life, man. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 12 and 46. While he, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood with, without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand out, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them, unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Because, like, hey, man, when we, we coming to this truth, man, <clears throat> yeah, you got your, you know, your, 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 your moms and your pops, man, but when you come into this truth, man, hey, it's, it's cool to, it, you still got to honor and respect your, your mother and your father, man, but when you come into this truth, man, you gotta look at the men next to you as high regard. It's like, look, these are your true brethren, man. Right. You know, because look, hey, look, because at the end of the day, yo, your parents are in the world. Huh. Even though you respect them and they bring you in this world, you gotta. They, they still could be. They, they still could be the enemy. Right. You know, they they'll be the ones that'll turn you in when the things get hot. Like, you know, they ask them like, uh, where's your son at? This is that another, and they'll give you up. Even though they is your mother and father. Oh. I'll keep reading. Man. Yeah. And he was 49. And he stretched out, stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. So the Lord was saying, this is what the brother was saying. He said, Look, 
these are my these are my brothers who are here laboring with me. These are these are my brothers. You know, hey, that, that's what you gotta know. That's that's the part about counting the cost, man. Because like it's a it's hard to look at spiritual things through a carnal eye, man. See, like if you can't thinking carnally. You're going to be like, man, oh, man, I'll, I'll butt hurt and shit. Like, no, you ain't, you know. Look, man, when these are your brethren. Uh, these are men of the Lord, you know. You got to look at every brother as if he, your Howard Sharp, man. You don't treat a brother fucked up, man. You know, you got to look at every brother in this in this truth as if he is your Howard Sharp, man. And Yah, that's what Howard Sharp told his own parents. That would be called considered disrespect in these times we're living in now. A lot of brothers forget about that. They 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 read the scripture, but then they don't they don't do it. They don't treat their brother like that. They 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 have a worldly sense of treatment towards their brother, man. Like, oh, I'm tired of uh, showing mercy to this brother. Like, who the fuck is you? The Lord showed mercy to a guy that 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 that, that, that uh. Hung him out the dry, so to speak. Judas, you know, the two thirds, man. They said, "Let his bloods be, let his blood be on us and our children." Yeah, I was shy. I still pray for them, ask the Lord forgive them, for they know not what they do. So, you, hey, that, that's that. Hey, that's a beautiful spirit to be in, man. Verse fifty. For whosoever will do the will of, of my Father, which is in heaven. The same shall, same is my brother and sister and mother. Hey, that's why we don't, that's why, hey, that's why I ain't, hey, hey, I, I know brothers, we all got different doctrines. We don't believe in unity camps. I don't deal with unity camps, but if a brother keeping the law, such as in the commandments, hey, he's still our brother. Yeah. He's still he's a Israelite. Israelite at the yeah, end of the you day. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, he might not know the exact, uh, uh, the exact doctrine of it, but you still can't treat him like shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna treat you like shit. Hey, brother, hey. Hey, you, you might be calling on a different name, all that. That's, hey, I don't agree with that, but you still my brother. Hey, you keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments? Hey, I ain't got no problem with you, brother. You still my brother, man, you know? But uh, this is uh, Luke 14 and 26. It says, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life, also, he cannot be my disciple. And this is a, a, why a lot of brothers fall off this truth right here, man, because they, and this is not mean the Lord is uh, start treating your, your, your yeah, family like yeah, shit. The Lord ain't telling you, like, oh, fuck my mom, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, my yeah, dad. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no yeah, they got it yeah, wrong. Yeah. They said it's, it's basically mean to, to love less, meaning, like, don't put them over the, your, the Lord, man. Yeah. Don't put, because we ain't supposed to put nobody over uh, over the Lord, oh, man. You know, you know? Like you say, like, uh, you, you at your mother's house and they eating pork and shit and she bring you a plate of you be like no nah, I'm not eating that I don't and, and if they be persistent with it you be like no I'm not eating that that's not uh, 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 hating your your uh, mother yeah. that's like you loving the Lord like I'm not gonna do that right. no matter what you say I'm not doing it. that's why a lot of brothers this scripture right here I'm gonna read it again man this is uh, Luke 14 and 26 if a man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, his own, uh, yea, in his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. Meaning, a lot of brothers, man, you got to give up a lot uh, for this truth, man. It's meaning you got to give up a lot of these things, man, because when you come into the truth, man, you got to tell your moms, your pops, look, you can't. Uh, I know I was last year, I was just giving you cards on Mother's Day and all that shit, and that's over with, that's dead. I'm like, but now I know the truth. Yeah, I, I, I don't celebrate We ain't it. supposed to worship yeah. women like this. We ain't supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to give my kids nothing for their birthdays, Christmas. They think you doing, hey, when I first came into this truth, man, people telling me, uh, was, was uh, like, oh man, I, I'm torturing my kids. Like, right. They like, man, they, them kids ain't never, like my daughter ain't never celebrated a birthday. My son celebrated one at one of everything, a birthday, a Christmas, 4th of July. He celebrated one everything, you know what I mean? Then I, I eventually found out about this truth, you know, and, and came into this truth. But it's just like, by doing that, you're going to get a, a, a bad name with your family, man. You know? And that's why Yahweh Shah stretched forth his hands towards his disciple. Like, look, man, this is my family, man. You know, because at the end of the day, 
when when Esau put your face on the news, he start persecuting the men of the Lord. Who you think gonna be the first to turn you in, man? Say if it's a, a, a cash reward for you, all right? Who you think gonna be the first to turn you in? A lot of y'all, uh, men, land, our, our women we land next to gonna give us up. Uh, just like my, uh, my sister, uh, I mean, I love my sister. <clears throat> She'll do a lot for me, but I still have to think like she could turn me in though. Huh. They are gonna uh, turn yeah. us in, man. So it, 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 that's just the perspective you have to look at it at. Hey, man, matter of fact, this is uh this is Matthew's ten and thirty six. It says, uh, "In a man's foes shall be they of his own household, man." So that's deep right there, man. That shows you, man. These people really ain't with us, man. We we hope for the best, but we gotta prepare for the worst. It's like you know, we all got wife, kids, or, or, or that brother or that sister. You know, we want to hope that you know that they can come into the truth, that they get in their life so in order. But hey, man, when it's crunch time, all right, when when everything is on the line, when Esau is persecuting you for real, he's knocking down your door looking for you, man. And, and hey, who you think gonna fold on you, man? You can be hiding in the attic. Esau might not even find you. He might not even know you in the house. But your woman might be so terrified, man. She be like, "Oh, he's in the attic. Uh, please don't do that. Don't do none of my kids and none of that, man. These these people gonna break, man. They gonna fold on you." But see, at the end of the day, it come back to this scripture. This is Philippians two and twelve. Therefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. At the end of the day, you got to you got to worry by yourself, man. Yeah, you want the best for your family and all that, but at the end of the day, you can only save yourself. Cause they might not be with you. You know? Yeah. I mean, you mean that's hey, that's a beautiful scripture, man. You only can save yourself. I can't say this, brother. You know, brother can't save me. We wish the best for each hey. other. We we brothers. Yeah, I want him to get salvation, but it's up to him. Uh -huh. I can't, I can't drag him along. I wish I could, but I can't. Hey, and that, that's why I look, man. That's why we got to be diligent in, in seeking your how by shimmy how we shop, man, because this is not a game, man. Our people don't know who the hell they are, man. Like, you got people, our people uh, in church, in the church in Christianity, they teaching our people that, that uh, we, we the heathens, man. That, that we the Gentiles, man. We the Gentiles. You know? <laughs> That dude, we we the we the chosen people. We're not the best people on this planet for nothing. It's, it's not a coincidence that we can do everything. We invented everything. Right. Uh, but we we we're the form of all things, man. Right. Get that in Jeremiah uh, fifty one and nineteen. Yeah, because that's that's a uh, that's actually a, a beautiful uh, precept. Is that fifty one and nineteen or fifty and nineteen? It's one. It's one of those. It's a. Uh, I believe it's 51 and 19. Yeah, it's 51 and 19. Because that's why we, we try to inform our people of, of building some kind of uh, confidence in our people because, go and read it. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, uh -huh. for he is the former of all things. There you have it. And when you look, when you, uh, look deep into history, you see Jake really invented everything. Esau just stole the patents. Like, like John 10 and 10, he, 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 he still, you know, still kill and destroy. That's all he does. He don't invent anything. He don't make anything, man. He wait until Jake come up with it and then take it for himself. Still it, man. You know? And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Huh. Hey, that, hey, that's it. Go into the name again, man. You know, that's why... <laughs> The scriptures, man, keep on saying mm. from beginning to end, mm. the name, the name, mm. Israel, Israel. You know, it, and these are things that's important, man, to salvation. That's why we teach it to our people, man. We got to come out here and tell our people, man, Jake is a form of all things, man. Right. You wouldn't be able to, uh, who, who, who when, when they first came over here, who you think taught you, uh, Esau how to be civilized, man? You know, well, who you think taught them how to bathe and wash themselves, man? Yeah, they was going to die. They, they would have died off, man. Yeah, they been come dead. over here all sick and shit. There wasn't no sickness and shit out over here yeah. until the so-called white man brung it over. Yeah, and Gad knew how to do everything, man. Gad was hunters. They knew how to hunt. You well, know what I mean? All the tribes, you know, they was, they was in, uh, 
of South America first. Yeah. You know, before they before they came over to to the North America. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's it, it's a car. All of them, they talk they talk to people, man. All right. I mean, because Jake, man, hey, what the scripture say? We're the salt of the earth. So when, when we're the salt of the earth, that means, man, look, we bring everything into fruition, man. We bring that flavor. We we the one bring that structure to uh, a society, man. That's why the scripture say, man, where every uh, Jake was, uh, was scattered, man, uh, that nation prospered. You know, when we was in captivity to these different nations, they prospered, man. Because what? They had Jake, man, to... Uh, with, uh, stealing our ideas, you know what I'm saying? Jake Esau do a study just on to see how you move so he can try to steal your swag and everything. Man, you see these Edomites trying to be like Jake all the time. I mean, you had Pharaoh, man. You wonder why he didn't let let us go because we uh, built it. We built Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, man. It wasn't because of those those Hamites. Them Hamites didn't do shit, but just enslaved us. We did everything over there. We was the reason why it was. The uh the pinnacle of the world. Yeah, because that's why he uh he made Joseph Joseph a, a ruler in yeah. uh. It's uh, all Egypt, because man. of Israel, yeah, Jake, man. man. We can't help it, man. We so good at shit, man. Darn. I mean, Daniel, the same thing they did with Daniel in the Babylonian captivity. They they exalted Daniel in, in uh, Babylonian captivity because our people every, everywhere we go, <clears throat> and we in the lowest state uh, as we can be. Yeah, and we steal the shit. That's why it's important to come back to... It ain't nothing for Jake. Jake just come out of shit out of his ass, man. It just Jake is Jake is just magnificent, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, this is uh Deuteronomy seven and uh seven and six. It says, uh, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord uh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people, uh a special people unto himself. Above all people that are up on the face of the earth. There it is. So, baby. so how you how are we Gentiles, man? Yeah. You know, yeah, our people was uh scattered among all nations and we, we did learn the ways of the heathens. You know, we was actually referred to as Gentiles when you read to, uh the Apocrypha it gives uh, some understanding on, on how that happened because we were so far removed from our uh, heritage and from our land that we took up on the uh the ways of the other uh, heathen nations, man. And that's, that's so crazy. Uh, now, this is how crazy the, 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 these Edomites are. Now, they'll call you a nigga all day long, try to kill you. But when they look at Michael Jordan, they praise him like he's the, he's the Messiah. See what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's why they know we royalty, man. In one breath, you want to kill us. In the other breath, breath you praise us. They looking at Michael Jordan as a god. Right. But then they want to kill a nigga. Which one is it, man? They know. All right, uh, this is uh, Psalms 106 and 34 says, They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. All right, so that's why our people really became... Uh, what was referred to as Gentiles, man, because it's just like now, man, that you acting like a goddamn heathen, we're going to refer to you as a heathen. You know, that's how it was in the ancient time, man. You know, that's why uh, when you get to the New Testament and it's speaking about uh, gent we were, when it says we were Gentiles, all right, uh, giving uh, away to these dumb idols because it was because of what we was doing. It was more of what we was doing. We wasn't uh, Gentiles. Per se, in the uh, what Gentiles in the flesh, yeah, it was acting yeah. like Gentiles, you know, and that's why eating pork, yeah, wearing of. togas, doing all that kind of sacrificing shit that, to their different doing all the shit that the damn Greeks was doing, so they called you Greeks. Huh. Should you want to be a Greek, then they, they, they called you a Greek, huh. you acting like them, shaving your face, bald, and shit. You know, that's not our custom, we're supposed to have beards. Huh. That's hey man, Jake was. That's why right. you know that we were man. What that's what say? separates men from women. We have beards. It's a reason why hair grow on your face. You ain't supposed to shave it off. Uh, that's why the scripture state, man. I, uh, among my people, have been found uh, wicked men. All right, because Jacob uh, is is wise to do evil. All right, this is a. Uh, 
Colossians 1 and 21, it says, And you that were sometimes alienated in enemies in, in your mind by wicked works, yet now have uh, reconciled. All right? Because it, we was alienated, man, because of the things we was doing, by the works that we was doing, man. We was doing wickedly. <clears throat> Our people was all into idol worshiping, you know, uh, 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 sacrificing unto idols, all these different things that the heathens was doing. Because when you read, when you read the uh, Apocrypha, when you read, uh, uh, I think it's Ecclesiasticus, when you, uh, the sixth chapter, when you read the Apocrypha, it basically tells you, man, how, you know, we couldn't, uh, uh, proclaim ourselves to be Jews. We couldn't keep none in our high holy days. We have to profess ourselves to be as Gentiles, man, Greeks, you know? And our people was uh, mingled amongst all that. Our people grew up in, in the uh, Greek customs, man. That's why our people was referred to as Gentiles because like I just read, I read it again, it says, and ye and you that were sometimes alienated in enemies of your mind by wicked works, all right? This is Paul writing, uh, writing to the, those uh, scattered Israelites, man. That's what we're doing now. That's why we're bringing our people back together right now. And we're telling them, look, man, you alienated from the Lord right now. What? Because of your wicked works, man. You celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. You, you uh, celebrate uh, New Year's. All right? Christmas. You, you believe in Christianity. These are all wicked works that will cause you to be alienated from salvation, man. You know? And, and we all want salvation. Right? This is a uh, this is first Corinthians. This is first Corinthians 2, 12 and 2. It says, uh, well, I started, I started one. I started one. It's first Corinthians 12 and 1. It says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So our people was carried away to these uh, dumb idols. You got the, uh, you got the, had the, uh, the uh, northern kingdom that went into captivity under the Assyrians, all right, and they learned the uh, the works, the uh, the wicked works of uh, the Assyrians, man, you know, and and, and they uh, they was they was uh, they referred to themselves as being Greeks and all that, and keeping the customs of these different nations. We was, that's what made us Gentiles, man. So like. Uh, People will try to, if you go to Christianity, man, they'll try to tell you, oh, man, Paul wrote to everybody, man. No, them was, them was Israelites. Them was scattered, scattered Israelites, man, all right, who didn't know their heritage, man. That's why, with, with, uh, that's what the Messiah was uh, was doing, you know. That's why when they said he came to his own people and his own people uh, received him not, you know. That's why the, in, in the Lord, he, he went to the other uh, heathen nations. He, that's why he sent Paul to go to the uh, all countries because we were scattered amongst all nations, man. Right. You know, and you don't know that in Christianity they don't teach you that, man. Because they not study. They don't. They these people don't know what the hell the Bible's talking about. They don't. That's why the Lord, the Lord has risen up prophets, man. You know. You got precept up. Yeah, this is uh, Romans nine. I start at one. Yeah. It says. I say the truth in Amashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that my, myself were a curse from Amashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Wow, so how can he be saying that to Greeks? Or, or to Romans if he wasn't talking about Israelites, man. See, that's a mystery of the scriptures. That's why the Lord say he, he uh, revealed this mystery and secret things to, to the prophets, man. Because how can he be talking about uh, uh, Romans if, if he said, who my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites? And we know Israel, uh, Israelites are due to the curses, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Continue to read, all right? To whom pertain the adoption the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, see, the law and the service of the most high and the promises. We know when you read Psalms 147 and 19, it tells you that the law was given to you Israelites, man. It wasn't good. The Romans wasn't in the wilderness with us when we uh when the Lord gave us uh, the law, statutes, and the commandments. 
the Galatians wasn't in in uh in the wilderness with us, man. You Greeks wasn't in the wilderness with us. All right, that's why this you gotta know the scriptures, man. You gotta know what the scriptures is talking about, man. That's why it's good to be studied and and to learn under the men of the Lord. Keep reading. Go go five. Who are the fathers and who have concerning the flesh Mashiach came, who is over all mm. the most high blessed forever. Amen. And yeah, you see that? That's see who concerning the Mashiach came. So that's who the Lord died for. So that's why you don't have an understanding on John 3.16. Because you don't you're not reading the scriptures. You can't just open up the book of John uh 316 and, yeah. and close it. Yeah, so John 316. They'll just say John 316 and like drop the mic. That's over with. So, that Jesus that, wept, man. Yeah. I'm not. It don't work like that, man. That's The Lord was referring to the nation of Israel, man. As a matter of fact, this uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. It says, Moreover, brethren, I would, uh, I would not that ye should be ignorant. How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. So we that's talking about that great uh that first exodus, man. We know all nations wasn't uh there for that, man. We know it was the uh, who, who did the uh Lord send Moses uh to uh to, to uh, free his people, man. You know, that's why you gotta be learned in the scriptures, man, because when you read something like that, you gotta know like man, okay, all nations wasn't uh under the cloud and passed through the sea. All right, we already know it was the Israelites, man. So you got to understand what the scriptures is, uh, who they are written to, and, and uh, who the prophets was writing these letters to, man. All right, was you, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native uh, Native Americans, man. You was the scattered uh, nations abroad, man. And you speckled birds, man. you uh, you you Israelites that look like the heathens, you you pop you Israelite confusion of face. Bird. Uh huh. Yeah, that because because Jake is you know uh is we was mixed amongst our nations, so we was our seed was scattered, mingled among these different nations. So yeah, our, our nation is like a, a speckled bird, man. You know, you uh, the scriptures tell you Ephraim is like a cake unturned. Well, just because you have that 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 leprous skin, don't mean that you are Edomite necessarily all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, let's put that out there. You know. You, uh, there's a lot of, uh, because you've been scattered and you thinking like, oh, if I, uh, if I look like a so-called white man, then I'm doomed. No, no, not necessarily. It, it, it's no according to the seed. Uh -huh. You got to hope and pray that you, you, you're an Israelite. Uh -huh. You know, you might have all the characteristics of an Israelite, then you probably are one. Yeah, then you got some. Some brothers who look like John Shad, you know, yeah, but they might they be a be, tear. They'd be tear. They'd be a tear. So man. this thing, the Lord got this thing. That's why it's a mystery, man. Uh -huh. You know, hey, that's why the at Lord, the end of the day, you just gotta have faith that you're an Israelite. That's why the Lord said, man, you try know? the spirits by, by the, the spirits, spirits, man. Because you can't just go out. You wonder why this so-called white man hooked you up? He probably Israelite. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Could be. I mean, I, I per se necessarily don't get too deep into that because, you know, trying to figure out who is who, because that's the Lord's job to figure it out. But nine times out of ten, if it's a, a, a so-called white man looking like a white man, he and he's cutting for you, he might be an Israelite. Could be. I mean, that's why the Lord speaks about, man, uh, the wheat and the tares, man. It says, leave them alone. Leave because them alone. You might that's you that's might the angel's fight. job. That's yeah. their job to do it. You ain't got necessarily always somebody cool and they look like the other nation. Oh, he's there. You don't really know. That's why, you, you know, you can't be like all oh, all tribes is black. All 12 tribes is, is you, black. You really don't you know, do so let shit. the Lord deal with that. Uh -huh. You just teach, man. Let the Lord decide who's who. We were scattered abroad, man. That was, if you get that in uh, the prophecy, get get that in uh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 28 and 64. I'm going to read this. Uh, well, matter of fact, I read this after, after you read after you read that because it's gonna all tie in together, you know. But, but that's why we gotta be circumspect because we were scattered amongst our nations, man. So that's important about being at peace with all men because you never know, man. 
you know? Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord scattered thee among all people from one in the earth until even the other. Yep, see, that, that was a prophecy that we was going to go into all nations. So that's why when you read in so Matthew. It looked like everybody. Huh. That's that's why, you, hey, you know it, Jake. That's why, man, brothers always jump, you know, jump the gun sometimes and say, you know, certain people is Israelites, which, yeah, some people may be Israelites because. You know, it's not 100% concrete. Yeah, it's not so concrete. That's just me personally. I don't do all that. But, it, you know, we do know the reason why our brothers do that because we know we were scattered among our nations. You know what right. I mean? Uh, and thou shalt serve other gods which thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Right, and that's what basically comes in us being Gentiles, man, because... And that wood and stone, that's that cross that we... That, that, that we Christianity. And that stone is that cobblestone thing deal that is in the Mecca. Islam, in Mecca. Yeah. It's already been prophesied that our people was gonna go into all that shit. Huh. That's why you had. That's why it was a need for uh, for Malcolm X. It was a need for uh, from uh, Martin Luther King because you know it wasn't at the time that they was you know doing what they was doing. It wasn't time for our people to wake up yet, man. You know you got brothers uh, that was beginning to wake up, you know, but it wasn't through Christianity or, or uh, Islam. All right, this is John eleven and forty nine. It says. And one of them named uh, Caiaphas, being the high priest that, that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not, meaning the, uh, they was talking referring to the nation of Israel, man. Because if, at the time, if you knew the prophecy, you knew that it was, it was one that uh, come that was going to die for our sins, man. And you got uh, people talking about the, the Messiah wasn't prophesied about in the Old Testament. Yes, he was, man. He came to fulfill the things that was prophesied of him, man. You got to be learned in the scriptures to, to know these things, man. Uh, I keep reading verse 51. It says, And this spake he, not of himself. Just bullshit. Satan, Verse 51, it says, And this spake he, not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh should die for that nation, and not for that nation only, but that he also he should gather together in one the children of Yahweh that were scattered. So, look, that that's to show you that the Lord was going to them, uh, them scattered Israelites as well, to bring to bring us all back to uh, as one. Like when you go to uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Uh, the 37th chapter, man. Right. You know, because this is this is important uh, uh you know to, to understand, man. You know, about when it comes to dealing with different tribes uh uh in different nations, man. Why we got we got the 12, 12 tribe uh chart. All right, this is uh Ezekiel. Uh, I'm gonna jump around a little bit. I started verse 9, Ezekiel 37 and 9. It says, Then said he unto me, prophesied unto the wind which we're doing now. That's why it don't really matter about if we got crowds of people out here or we got uh, a lot of views on YouTube, we prophesying unto the wind. That, that vibrations get pushed through the atmosphere. It don't matter, the, the Lord hear us. So that's why he said prophesy to the wind. It don't matter. And it says, uh, son of man, say to the wind, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. All right? And that's what we're doing. We're breathing the, just like the Lord uh, uh, blew the uh, breath of life in Adam's nostrils. That's what we're doing right now to our people, man. You know, by doing videos, uh, on putting uploading videos to YouTube, coming out here, man, just speaking it into existence because that's what we're doing, man. We're we pushing that vibration, and it's carrying over to Jake because Jake is uh, waking up. Yeah, we those dry bones that's waking up. Uh -huh. the, the Israelites, we the dry bones. Uh -huh. I read verse 10, it says, uh, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up, and, and stood, and the breath came into me, Salakia, 
came into them and they lived and stood up on their feet an exceeding great army. And that's his word. They, huh. they, the three, that was the breath that gave his word and caused them to live. That's why you're seeing, hey, that's why you're seeing a lot of Israelites, even though brothers can't get on one page with the doctrine, but nevertheless, you, you got Israelites waking up to, uh, to who they are, man. Right. You know, to, 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 to uh, waking up to this truth, to keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments. That's us standing as that great army. That's us gathering as a, uh, it's like it tells you in Zephaniah, the second chapter. Gather together, O nation, not desire, man. Right. That's what we're doing, man. Even though we're not coming together in unity camps and all that, hey, but we waking up as an army, man, because you know what? And we gathered in sort of a way, because in a way we know we Israelites. We might not agree. We might agree on 90% of the things, but it might be 10% we don't agree on, but we still what? We still know you're Israelite. We still know, well, you know what I'm saying? And that's important. Yeah, that's important. It's the most important no. thing. They don't, get, don't get so twisted up in the doctrine. You still got to look at him as a brother and he's an Israelite. No. He woke up to that. No. You, same, night you, same way you woke up to it. Yeah. I want to close with this scripture. Man. Let me uh, finish finish this and you can go there. And I'll come. I'm going to jump down to verse 15. It says, the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write up on it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. All right, so that's when you go into the tribe sign, man, where you got Israelites to say, Oh, well, where you get the 12 tribe sign from? The scriptures. The scriptures, man, that's where we get it from. We just come out here and pull it out our ass. Yeah, the Lord used certain men. Uh, to, to, to break it down, you know, and through the Spirit is correct, man. And it says, uh, for the children of Israel, his companions, and take another stick and write upon it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel and his companions, and join them one together. And it was symbolic for what uh, Yahweh Shah is going to do. And what we're doing now is to bring the, the, the nations together as one. Not all nations. The nation of Israel, man. You know, from all the way from Judah on down to Issachar, Ephraim. Go on, yeah, we'll close out with this. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And that's what we're supposed to do, man. Our job is just to fear the most high, keep the commandments at the end of the day. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the that's way. where you get salvation, man. Hey, that's that's, that, that shows, that's the so important too, man, to fear the Lord. Because of, what's the what's the first commandment, man? The Lord said to, 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 to fear the Lord and put no other gods before me, man. So so it this the name is so important, man. To this to this walk man it's so important that that's the first thing that the lord gave us he said man look man fear me and don't put no other gods before me man he, he didn't say he, you think he's gonna get that without giving you his name he's telling you look fear me man you know you got to know who you who you dealing with to fear them you know that, that's the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear the lord and keep the law statutes and the commandments so that's what we preaching to our people to to come out of uh this wicked uh, Gentile state of mind, where you just completely think it's okay to do whatever, because Esau uh, teach our people that it's okay to do whatever, man. That's why you got Dwayne Wade trying about to chop his son Rod off. You obviously think you can do what the hell you want to do if you about to chop your son Rod off, man. Like that, that, that right there, I can't even like. But that's that's where we live in. That's Babylon. That's that's the place that we live in, and that's why the Lord says they sins have uh, reached unto heaven, man. Because it's, it's number wickedness to go on uh, in this place. You got anything else, thoughts? Yeah. All right, with that, we're going to close out and give all praises unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, recall Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach the truth and rule well. And salutations to you, Aki, on pushing this word with truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth. Shalom.